Hi! In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up game 3 from Prep Test 13. Uh, so for this one we have... Um, oh, okay. Sorry, so uh, we have 6 out of 8 that we're scheduling. Um, two per day, morning, afternoon. Okay, so we've got a, a few different pieces to this diagram. So we've got three days. We have morning and afternoon. So we kind of have a grid going here, right? Um, but then we actually have two that are gonna be out because we're choosing six out of eight. So the eight that we have to choose from are F, H, L, N, O, P, S, and W. There's eight there. Um, but we're only choosing six of them, so there are going to be two out. Right? Um, day two is the only day for which oils can be scheduled. So um, that one could be uh, like a quite a tricky rule. Um, what it's saying is that if O is in, then O is on day two. But if O is not on day two, so if day two is taken, then O has to be out. So O cannot be on day one or day three. That's sort of what that amounts to. Rule two, neither sculpture nor watercolors can be scheduled for the afternoon. Um, so no sculpture and no watercolor in the afternoon. Um, that's not to say that they must be in the morning because they could be out. Right, so good to keep that in mind. So we've dealt with rule two. Rule three, neither oils nor pastels can be scheduled for the same day as lithography. So um, O, L, I'm gonna do a little loop on my L. Um, o and L, that's not allowed. Um, we wouldn't be allowed to put L in the morning, O in the afternoon either. Um, and we can't have P, L, or L, P. Um, then we have a conditional. So if P is on day one or P is on day two, then the lecture scheduled for the day immediately following must be fresco and history, not necessarily in that order. So um, this will be easier if we split it up. So if pastels is on day one, then Frescoes is on day two and history is on day two. Um, if pastels is on day two, then frescoes day three and history is day three. Um, so if fresco is not day two or history is not day two, then pastels is not day one. If fresco isn't day three or history isn't day three, then pastels is not day two. So we can split those up because the triggers are split up as an or and then the consequences um, are relative to the position of pastels, right? So the consequence is going to change depending on whether um, it's triggered by pastels being on day one or pastels being on day two um, because it has to be the day immediately following, um, not a specific day, but the day following the day that pastels is scheduled for. Um, so that's why this is probably a better set of conditional rules um, than if we tried to like cram it all into one long rule. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, try this one out on your own first and let me know if you have any questions. Um, it's definitely a more challenging game, so I may go ahead and um, actually go through the questions or a few of the questions in another video. Um, but do give it a try before um, just watching the next video.